We're here at the Evergreen Aviation and Space Museum in McMinnville, Oregon, that's south of Portland, with the museum's education director, Larry Wood. We're standing in front of a plane that is uh, significant in history, but even more significant for your museum, Larry, because there aren't too many de Havilland DH-4s flying anymore. No, this is the only one of this type left. It's a DH-4M, was modified in the 20s by Boeing into a mail plane. So the metal parts on the front were actually put on by Boeing Corporation up in Seattle. There's an entry in the logbook for this airplane, something to the effect of, maybe I should make my own airplane, signed Bill Boeing, it's kind of cool. Now, this plane had a couple of notables. It was a British design and it ended up being produced under license by, by a bunch of US car companies for World War I. Well, the engines were. It was actually the only uh, combat airplane mass-produced in the United States during the First World War. So it, it's the only airplane that made in the U.S. that actually saw combat. It was later used by the Marines in Nicaragua, I think, as a close air support airplane, first time as a medevac airplane, first time for that too. Now, how did you get this one? Again, you, you seem to have a knack at this place for coming up with uh, one of the only or few remaining flyable originals of a lot of these airplane types. Well, this one actually at one point belonged to Paul Mance, who's a very famous movie stunt pilot back in the 50s. And uh, after he died filming The Flight of the Phoenix, it went into several hands, and we bought it in 1990 with the idea of putting it in a museum. And it was up in the Museum of Flight in Seattle for some years until this museum opened, and then we brought it here. It does belong to the company, and actually appeared in a couple movies. Court Martial Billy Mitchell with Gary Cooper, and also uh, Spirit of St. Louis with uh, James Stewart. And that wasn't just this type, this, that was this very airplane. This very airplane is the movie star, yes. Now, this airplane acquired a rather unflattering nickname. Huh. It was called the Flying Coffin because the gas tank's right above the engine, right in front of the pilot. A uh, fellow by the name of Lindbergh, I think we talked about him a second ago, bailed out of four of them. Two of them because they caught fire, one because he got lost in a snowstorm, and one because he got lost at night. Not an easy airplane to fly in the weather. Well, Larry, we appreciate your insight into all these wonderful old planes, and thanks for taking some time. Well, this is my pleasure again. It's really fun to have you guys here today. Thank you. Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single-engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at cirrusdesign.com.